Hi, this is Christian, and welcome to NFL Updates Express, your weekly dose of NFL news. Coming your way, preseason week three predictions. It's a matchup here in Green Bay between the Oakland Raiders and the Green Bay Packers. Now, we already know Aaron Rodgers is in full swing, and we should get to see a little bit of him. But the bigger question is the Oakland Raiders quarterbacks. Derek Carr and Matt Schaub are battling it out. And even though Matt Schaub should get the start, Derek Carr is sneaking up on his tail. So we'll see what happens there. Green Bay has some running backs and they'll look to improve in this preseason exhibition match. And the Raiders also need to get Darren McFadden going along with Maurice Jones-Drew in the new offense. But overall, I think the Green Bay Packers will pull it out. Hi, I'm Yusuf, a guest star on NFL Updates Express. This week's matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the Oakland Raiders looks pretty interesting. To be honest, I think the Green Bay Packers are going to get the best of the Oakland Raiders because they have a stronger offense. It's the Super Bowl rematch from a few years ago when the New Orleans Saints take on Andrew Luck and the Indianapolis Colts. Now in the regular season, this would be the game of the week for sure. But in the preseason, it will still be exciting to see Drew Brees versus Andrew Luck battling it out. The Saints have Brandon Cooks, an explosive young wide receiver, out, and they'll like to get him some more reps in the preseason. The Colts, on the other hand, have T.Y. Hilton, Reggie Wayne, who's coming back from an injury, and also Hakeem Nix, who is also trying to get into the swing of things. So both teams will be looking to improve their offenses and defenses respectively. But it will be a tough game for both teams, but I think that the New Orleans Saints will come out on top over the Colts. I'm going to have to disagree with you, Christian. The Colts are looking pretty good with the receiving core, and I think they're going to pull out the win versus the Saints. It's a battle in the desert when the Cincinnati Bengals travel to face the Arizona Cardinals. Now, the Arizona Cardinals quarterback play has been pretty solid with the Logan Thomas and, of course, Carson Palmer leading the way at that group. The receivers have looked good with John Brown, Larry Fitzgerald, and Michael Floyd leading the group for the Cardinals. The Bengals, on the other hand, have not won a preseason game, but they'll be looking to get back on track here against the Arizona Cardinals. The Bengals have looked good at times, but they still have some issues that they need to pan out. The Bengals have looked on and off on defense, and their offense has been shaky at times, but they still have looked pretty good on the first team with Andy Dalton and A.J. Green. It will be a tough game, but I think the Arizona Cardinals will pull it out. I strongly believe that the Cincinnati Bengals can pull this one out. With A.J. Green and sleeper Muhammad Sanu, they should easily get some touchdowns and win the game. It's the battle of Pennsylvania as the Pittsburgh Steelers take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, the Eagles on their first team offense have looked pretty good against the New England Patriots, but they struggled in the first game against the Chicago Bears. The Steelers, on the other hand, are looking for some receivers to back up Antonio Brown. Like Marcus Wheaton, he could be a big sleeper for the Steelers this year. The Philadelphia Eagles are also looking for someone to replace Deshaun Jackson, who is now on the Washington Redskins, and it looks like Jordan Matthews could fill that role and also Jerry M- M- Macklin coming back from injury. But overall, I think the Philadelphia Eagles will pull this game out. With the Steelers averaging just over 250 yards a game, I don't think they have enough offensive firepower to pull out the win.
the player of the week is Jacksonville Jaguars quarterback Blake Bortles. Now, the rookie from the University of Central Florida has looked pretty good, and he's actually looked probably better than Chad Henney. I don't know if he'll get the start, but he sure deserves some looks in the rest of the preseason. We'll see if he can get the start. Week 2 of the preseason was very great, and it started out with a Thursday night edition of Monday Night Football between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Chicago Bears with the Bears coming out on top 20-19. The other games resulted in the Patriots beating the Eagles 42-35, the Saints beating the Titans 31-24, the Raiders beating the Lions 27-26, the Seahawks beating the Chargers 41-14, the Packers beating the Rams 21-7, the Giants beating the Colts 27-26, the Jets beating the Bengals 25-17, the Ravens over the Cowboys 37-30, the Dolphins over the Buccaneers 20-14, the Steelers over the Bills 19-16, the Falcons lost to the Houston Texans 32-7, the Vikings over the Cardinals 30-28, the Broncos over the 49ers, 34-0. And finally, the Panthers, 28-16. And also the Redskins beating the Browns, 24-23.